to check volume here so we don't blow our ear drums out. Okay, so this video has come recommended by a number of people since I uploaded the other... us talking about the other video. So, let's check it out. This is an Ashes of Creation developer update involving specifically the weather system and seasons. Hello everyone and welcome to another update with Ashes of Creation and okay. today is going to be a special one. It's I'm weather! Weather is happening! By three amazing artists. Is that a goblin? Uh, our lead environment artist, pretty good. Tristan That's Snodgrass. Hey Tristan, how you doing buddy? Hello, I'm doing very well. Thank you. Looks now, like the is, Night is Clan. This is your first recording, even though you've been with us, you've been with us since the beginning. Six years yeah. ago, almost, right? Your dad introduced yeah, you to Whiskey Sirens at your sister's wedding. And a lot of them that night. <laughs> well, that, that too much at once can definitely ruin you on a drink. Studio tour where I think, I think we had that weather don't happen here. No, it doesn't. I've, <laughs> I've seen it before. <laughs> it's, I know it's not a myth. I've been mostly behind but the down here in the in the in the right. Florida our, lands, we don't get this. Asks where nodes three is at. Hey, do it, Joel. Because <laughs> oh. one time, I remember I was at that. I was at that. We were at that Let's panel just as much more. Like, All right. We HD. Like, Tristan's back at the studio. Auto. Ooh. And he's oh. Oh. <laughs> 4K. Uh, okay. Maybe a little bit intense. Let's just go 1440. Like, Let's get it. Uh, actually, you know what? Fuck it. They put the option up. I'm taking it. But. <laughs> nope. That does that weird widescreen thing. I've never actually watched a video at 4K on this. And then we Wait, also have is it all doing that? Wait, hold on. Am I an idiot? I am. I'm just an idiot. Never mind. Ignore me. Hello, everybody. Hello, Steven. I don't know why it's doing that on my monitor welcome, right now. It's kind of weird, though. To the show, sir. This is also your first time. Okay. Although you have been doing this is a shorter of, video. Uh, a lot of work Only 34 well. minutes. Making Apparently, they're going to hammer through it. And and making sure what is Ashes cool of Creation? I have not heard of it. It's an MMO coming out in a couple of years. The <laughs> they do a lot of these <laughs> dev <laughs> blogs that kind of keep you updated on what they're working on, what their plans are, what's going on, etc., etc., etc. Got to keep you up to date on the way through since it's so far out, but they want Karowski, feedback Karowski, on what they're doing maybe. to make a good game. Yeah, it's uh, Karowski. Karowski. And I'm an MMO player, so I keep a I keep a tab on the the mamopagas. We have a whole new a whole new crew on the live stream. And I figure, uh, hey, this one's this, shaping up to be interesting enough. We might as well learn about, about it together, because if it's really good, I might even stream it. See here is something I don't recall so we'll see. Ever played a game where this is done. Do you, have you guys ever People don't realize how much it adds. Yes, the egg white is important for a sour. If you're not egg whiting it, you're not making a whiskey sour. I can't even think of a single player game. That's, that's People don't think it changes it much. Like they, it doesn't add much, but it does. Sure it's it's like, very oh, different than not having there. egg white. But this is more than weather, right? Yeah, Place the egg whites with red wine floating on that. Last yeah. MMO you played was Lost Dark. Fair enough. Me too, technically. Yeah. I still play Guild Wars 2 once a week, but yeah. Viewing this video, people just saw on stream the teaser that kind of goes through and shows the cinematics in the engine, in the game. Uh, for uh, this area, right? I didn't care for so Lost Ark. It was too pay to win. Here, but it's, they restricted it's really my grinding too much for a game designed around grinding unless you paid out the nose. I played it for a little while. I got up to Endgame. Well, our biomes. item uh, level biome four right something. 400 or whatever. So not real true Endgame, but Endgame-ish in the ballpark. Uh, and then just kind of yeah, quit. No, that's right. It's actually it's the largest biome in Alpha 2, right? It was a fun gameplay, but the pay-to-win aspect just uh, fucking killed Aylin, it for me. Uh, no, well, I'm sorry, Aelin uh, portal exists, so. Um, I'm looking at this, this snowy, wintry location. Okay, snowy, wintry Aylin, location. Witherland, Witherlands, Witherlands! It's weather and <laughs> river. <laughs> the Riverlands, okay. Either way, the Riverlands. Um, I mean, it looks good. That can experience uh, kind of really traditional season change like what we're accustomed to right that people are going to see across all four seasons yeah, the snow feels uh, like it settles I mean, nicely kind of, we, we it looks like the, is that ice extremes, or is that uh, just so like weather, frozen know, dirt from, like, i can't tell i think that's just frozen dirt. Blizzard okay. kind of environment feels to lush green landscapes so uh we decided to tackle the hardest part first which is making it very very different between seasons yeah this is oh by the way i'm playing a vec right now some of you uh, saw the Vec in the character creator. The Vec, not a Gabo, but pretty close. Uh, Vec, this guy interesting. Is just 
wanting to experience the amazing immersive world that you guys have have. They get quieter. I think they got quieter. Um, okay, so we are we are in the and they're getting louder. And we are currently okay. in the winter season. Okay. So, we have so one thing I'm noticing here. And this is something that's really hit or miss with weather systems in most games. This isn't even really a system. This is more just the effect, the visual effect. Snow. So watch the snow here. Okay, so we are, it's we are prominent, in the Riverlands. And we are but it's not overly distracting. They leave enough empty space around the snow that it's present. You're feeling it. You're noticing it. It's there. It's offering at least some obfuscation. But it's not a pain in the ass to look through like some other games that have snowy areas. Where they just put it in too thick. And it's, it's more just like you're trying to look through a damn sheer sheet or something. I love snowy areas in games, but I hate how most devs do snow effects. I hate it. But uh, this isn't too bad. I don't know if they have, like, blizzards or anything. Maybe they'll talk about that. I guess we'll see. But, uh... Currently in the winter notice how season. it's there, but it's not really obscuring anything. You can still make out plenty of all the details the in the background itself, and everything. Though, the environment itself has changed. And they keep enough so open area between the, trees, the particles on the screen that the it's, rocks. you know... Um, it doesn't feel like you're working to see of, through it. What you have to do to transition... Although maybe they have lighter snowfalls and heavier snowfalls, so... But as just like a Ooh. general uh, state, so it's, the terrain materials it's not and, uh, the worst. You know, there's many, many materials that. It's not the best the though. And each one, but it's know, not the worst. Snow at a different rate, a different intensity. Di okay, you know, different rate, different assets, intensity. So I'll get kind of the same material function that okay. applies snow to the tops of them. Uh, oh, okay. So they're toying with it right now. They're lowering the intensity. Effect, they've uh, stopped. I think they're okay. So they're tweaking the weather. Got it. There's the volume fog that. Just went away as we saw as it cleared up. Okay, the uh, so the fog is related to the weather. The sky has a material that needs to respond to sea changes and weather changes. Uh, there's a wind actor. I mean, I, I could keep going for a while. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's, there's a, a lot. Of, that, uh, this, suffice to say, there's a lot of stuff that goes uh, into changing a, a region of the world. <laughs> so the wind. Into, ooh, okay, so I knew they had a wind system already. Oh, oh, oh take a moment and just. Uh, oh no. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, so. Are they switching to spring then? Is this a season switch or is this just it's not actively snowing so the settled snow is melting? I think a storm's kicking up. I think they're switching to spring. But the snow receding, if that's like an active thing that actually happens on a regular basis, that's a nice touch. Uh, Hunter Call of the Wild does that with their Yukon map. And it's a really nice effect. I like it in there. So right now we're transitioning into like a storm as okay. well as the climate. This has been kind of sped up, right, for to showcase the different okay, seasons going. transitions. Okay, so they're transitioning right. to yes. spring. So right now we're getting some rain, which will usher in springtime. And so you'll see all okay, the, the flowers the grow. So this is sped up. How oh, fast would it look? Snow snow Obviously, they can't demonstrate that. This is unbelievable. Well, you yeah. see, we had to demonstrate the natural progression of time through the game, so uh, this video is going to be about six weeks long. I'm trying to think. I think they've mentioned how long they want seasons to be. I think right now seasons are tentatively set to be one week. So four real, real world weeks will be one in game year, season wise. I, th I think. That's it. But I also kind of feel like that's kind of short, honestly, because they want some systems to work with the weather and they want like winter to be this thing you have to prepare for. But if it only lasts one in-game week, you, you could just ride that shit out. You know, I feel like it, it the seasons probably need to be longer, maybe a month, maybe three weeks, somewhere in that ballpark. And that gives you more time to appreciate it and appreciate the changing of the season to something different. So I feel like one week, if that's still their scheduled timeline, is probably a bit short. It feels too short to me, having not experienced it, though. So, I don't know, maybe it's fine. I'm down for that. You've had games that make a year, a year, and that's still... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real time to real time, too damn long. Way too long. But I think four months being an in-game year, or, you know, do it three weeks, it was like three months... 
I think that works. I, one week just feels too short. So that means every real world month is, is a year in game. That feels a bit too accelerated. I think a minimum, a minimum of two, two real world months being a year, that sounds better. That's probably fine, honestly. I think I could settle for two week seasons. I think that would pro that would probably be fine. Two to three weeks, I feel, is probably a sweet spot. Too much more than that, and you're going to get tired of it, or or it's going to feel a bit too oppressive if they actually want like winter to be a major thing. Um, but one week just feels too short. Four weeks a season is where I'd start and adjust from there. Yeah, I think two or three is probably the sweet spot, honestly. Okay. You were in the Alpha and Beta for Lost Ark. That's the only reason you played it when it came out. Fair enough. I was not. And I still played it when it came out. To be fair, I had, I had fun for a couple of weeks. I mean, I paid what? I ended up paying 15 bucks so I could make sure I got in on a server with everyone else. But 15 bucks, I played it for a month? Three weeks? Four weeks or something? straight on and then i've played it a couple more days here and there since then so i, I definitely got enough entertainment value out of it I, i'm not pissed about it but it definitely did not did not uh wet my jimmies particularly much you think you'd adjust based on how harsh they make their winters they can make it like four week summer three week spring autumn and two and a half week winter that'd be a good bit of each Perhaps, perhaps. But we'll have to see where it settles at. Now we've added some additional particle effects with the uh, with the. Honestly, uh, the seasons look good uh, butterflies so far, at least winter insects. and spring, and they both feel very distinct. And in addition, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta go back. We gotta go back a little. Was that was that lake frozen in winter, or are the lakes unfrozen? Just uh, how much does water? Suffice how much is water impacted by the seasons? Shit, they don't show it. Oh, is this, oh, okay. Oh, oh, so they do show it. Right is now it... we're transitioning into like a storm as well as uh, the climate. It was already this melting been... away. Hold on. Can we go back just a little further? Just, uh, right as they crest it. Oh, there is just, snow. Okay, okay there so is ice in the water. Right now we're transitioning into like a storm. Okay. I don't know how important so you'll see all the... that ice is or how surface oh, level down. versus does like the entire down. pond freeze up and you can walk on that puppy and no longer put a boat in there or a fish or something? I would hope so. Butterflies that would be an impact of winter. That would be strong, notable. It would give the season and addition, distinction like the, and mechanical all the elements. Now have grown on. There's a oh, bunch yeah. of flowers that are present. James, talk to me a little bit about. Uh, uh, can we see the leaves grow in? Is that something we can actually witness in, in like real time here? Let's go back a little further. So the leaves. When did the leaves start growing in? Uh, okay. Snow's gone. Uh, no, it was a little, little earlier. Here we go. Here we go. All right. How many of these are okay? Uh, enjoy the view. Okay. Oh, is this Watch okay? The, oh, so oh, oh. right now we're transitioning here, here into like is, a storm. Is. Oh, you can as see. Well as the climate. Look, at the trees, up, right? Look at the trees, you fool! Look at the trees. Season transitions. Okay, you can see the leaves growing so in right back there. That's a nice effect. In and so you'll see oh yeah, yeah, you can see them there now too. Right now the They're growing in. Oh, Are they going to keep snow growing good. thicker? Snow's gone. Mm -hmm. No, I think they've filled out. Okay. This is unbelievable. And now we've added some additional... Oh, no, they are growing in thicker. With, uh, That's a nice... The, it's like uh, you just slowly, uh, day after day, see a couple more insects. leaves growing in. That is yep. that is very nice. And I do addition, like that. it's like the, all the leaves now have grown on. There's a oh, bunch yeah. of flowers that are present. James, talk okay. to me a little bit about... Uh, you see that first flower popping through the snow, and versus, then, you know, a couple days later, yeah, suddenly um, there's... So not suddenly, but the gradually there's a whole field of them. I do like that. I do like that feeling of gradual progression with the... It's not just like winter, and then, oh, winter's over, boom, spring, everything's there. They have transitional periods between them, which is great. Oh, I thought you were saying... Well, technically, both are both are relevant to you, Tristan, because not only uh, are you our lead environment artist, but you also are a very avid professional environment film guy, right? You... I've seen some of your stuff. It's unbelievable. That poor little tree only has like two leaves uh, uh, on it. It this, didn't survive the winter. To, uh, spend my time filming nature, so it's kind of a appropriate. How often? Uh, how often do you give that to the environment team as reference material? 
Uh, not often yet, but I'll be visiting Wales next week, so nice. I'll be taking plenty of photos for reference. <laughs> this is no joke. Tristan got right up into the eyeball of this giant whale. It's crazy. staring right at the camera. That was so cool, dude. That was that was very crazy. Okay, I've noticed yeah. that the that the whales. animals have changed. The ambient sound okay. has changed, and Cat mm -hmm. uh, has done an amazing job with the ambience and in the Riverlands biome. It is Some of the ambience is decent, that, but, but we'll have, have, to, to, have to, to see what it sounds like after some well, post right? work has been done yeah. with it and the game um, polishes up for the winter bear back in the finality. Day, or back in the winter set biome. But that's okay. We, we can we'll There's see more. another one. There's more. Winter. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, Deer but, are still active in winter, uh, I'm pretty uh, sure. James, so sorry, I think we kind of cut you off. No, that's oh, good. if you want to continue talking about how you went about the art process for this. What, what oh, yeah, way we got over just, there? You know, iterative like all art is. The and, bugs are uh, nice. You know, Hal, one of our definitely give it a spring feel. And myself, kind of the butterflies, really all the flowers are flowering, and the, the pollen's ripe for the picking. Um, and or the nectar, or whatever that. Say, uh, butterflies are nectar, right? <laughs> yeah, and then the pollen <laughs> gets on true. them, and then they pollinate. The That's how it works. Yeah, yeah. Particular time of the hell are these? These these deer. They're like fashion deer. They're like wait, they're lizard. Are those Kieran? That's what they're called, right? Kieran. Time of the year. I love the glow on the Kieran's antlers. They are Kieran. Pog, I know something. The only reason I know Kieran's oh, exist is because okay. of Ultima Online. They were a mount so in one of the releases. In real time later on. That's right. Yeah. I think so, it was, so was it Age of, of, Age of Shadows or something. This, you know, not just from anyway. a beautiful aesthetic perspective. I never really liked the Kieran, so I didn't use them. I preferred either having a nightmare so or... Um, dynamic honestly, I was, I was a traditional son of a bitch, so I mostly wrote the nightmare. Changing to the behavior actions of the And then eventually the beetle right? when that so, came out, because that was fun. You know, part of the triggers that mm. can up, Silver? create doing? seasonal change is not just time related. Okay, it's not just items, time. But they're also indicated by events that occur oh. on the server, whether okay. that be certain raid bosses forming or a relic being acquired uh, by so a there's node. And interesting, so there's... Um, to change... So there's like, there's... Things that can temporarily or superficially alter the seasons as well. I wonder how frequent those are. Like, is it just going to be constant chaos? And it's going to completely ruin the, the overall, the almost like living year effect? Because it's just constantly going to be, Ah, oh, shit, it was summer five seconds. God damn it, now it's transitioning to winter again. Oh, wait, we're fall? What the fuck? Time's going backwards and jumping around. So I hope that's not, I mean, it's kind of a neat idea. Events and major things happening have an impact, but hopefully it's not too frequent as to break any sense of meaningful cycle. Because the cycle, the progression, the, the standard flow of time is what makes this have a the feeling of life in the world. Which is a nice touch, but you can't fudge it too much, you know? Otherwise you lose that effect potentially the weather out of a winter state into a spring state. And the reason why a node might have interest in doing that, of course, is Different because... Different season changing capabilities depending on the server? Possibly. And, and the, uh, we'll seasons see. Seasons also affect skills and abilities. They seasons affect, affect skills crops and Crops and gatherables. Probably. Okay, so the gatherables make sense. Ships, uh, creatures, and loot. So it affects mounts and ships. Ships make sense. Fewer waterways as they freeze and ice over. Maybe storms or weather gets more severe during times of year, like more thunderstorms during uh, summer as the temperature increases. So sailing ships becomes more difficult. And during winter, there's areas you just can't take your ship to because the coast is frozen up, maybe, or there's fewer rivers or inlets that are available. That makes sense. Maybe wind conditions become just a bit too unfavorable or make certain things more difficult. Like for maybe in the case of winter, maybe the wind comes from a more prominent direction, so it's much more difficult to go against it. So that kind of changes the way you have to. I don't know. There's a number of ways that that's a very vague statement made that could have a number of implications. The mount one. I guess if there's like deep snow, it could impact certain like smaller mounts maybe or something like that. Or maybe your mount starts slipping and sliding on on ice and you got to start playing yakety sacks in the background. I don't know. I'm not sure how it would impact mounts. Uh, the foraging makes sense. Certain things die off in winter, but there are some plants that thrive in winter. So the things switch around. 
uh, more barren earth, so maybe it's easier to find minerals and shit. Who knows? But that, that kind of makes sense. I kind of like that. Probably uh, winter probably makes... I don't know if there's food in this game, if there's a food system or anything like that. I mean, there's probably food, but if it's, like, impactful for survival or anything, I have no idea. I'm going to guess probably not, but maybe. But uh, I don't know. Maybe certain food is better for, like, you're fighting your raid boss. And during winter, suddenly you can't procure the resources for that, so goddamn, you better prep up ahead of time. Or that raid is going to be a bitch. So, still more or less the same effect. Really cool things you can do with the weather, and some of them are garbage for players, so explain more to me, to me devs. Yeah, 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 there you did yeah, exactly. Tables change, their behaviors might change. Animal the behaviors change, okay. Or, or Synergies might be relevant in certain seasons or weather systems. Okay. Targeting might change. The AOE radius might grow. For okay, so resistances change. Um, cold. So maybe you become more susceptible to cold effects during winter unless you wear heavier clothing, maybe. Maybe that's what they mean. Or maybe you just need to be more careful of things that benefit from the cold. Or maybe cold damage just becomes more prevalent because all those elementals suddenly switch from fucking... Fire to, to ice or something. Hmm. Okay. Hopefully they go in a little more into depth into these things they're talking about. But they it might... So it might be to the point where they're not entirely ironed out on exactly what any of this means yet. And they're just talking broader terms that still need to be figured out. Which is why they're not talking super specifically. Or it might shrink if you're in the middle of a storm. Um, <laughs> you know, yeah, they got cold out and suddenly things so started shrinking. This system. And that's why you guys really spent a lot of time <laughs> making sure that the environment reflects both at the quality. I kind of like this environment, though. Kind of Especially during the spring. It looks kind of kinda nice. I, played, you know, you get I wouldn't mind wandering around. Kind of playing and you get some rain or you get some snow. Maybe hunting but some deer. What, what we've seen here in that transition from winter to, to or Kieran, I guess, was significant, and it persists. And each of these zones exists in these different states at different times across birds. different servers. I saw those. What those the birds fuck is that flying? Like? Wait, wait. The crap out of me. <laughs> wait, what? Wait, hold on. What? Wait, 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 wait. wait. What? I saw. Who the fuck is that? That's way off in the fog, and that still looks huge. Like, based on how much that's fogging out versus this tree, that thing is notably further away than this tree here in the background. And it's still fucking massive. Is that... What the hell is that, monster? It's a dinosaur. The pterodactyls come back, chat. Holy crap. It's massive. Is that a rock? Is that a dragon? I want to know more about that. Tell me about that. It's huge. Can I write it? Maybe I don't want to write it. Actually, I take that back. <laughs> Can I kill it? That I might do. Oh, those, those birds Sleepy time for you, so good night. Nighty night, <laughs> Silver. Like, what was that? You didn't expect that. Um, I yeah. I mean, this is definitely one of the more traditional uh, weather biomes, I guess you could say, in terms of seasons. But we will be taking things a little weird with some of the other biomes as well. A little weird. A little oh, kooky. I you're going to see it. Yeah, I think there's fall coming. Yeah, Uh-oh. Oh, I see the leaves. Oh, they were in summer. Spot. Okay, so they transitioned oh to gosh, summer at some point. little in. dust devil. Oh, Ooh. that looks great. Very nice. Oh, Win I It's love windy. It. It's dry. Wow, look at the color yeah, the change. Colors. That's that is nice. Ooh, I like this season. This season's nice, it was really too. So far, all three seasons, and apparently summer. I guess summer yeah, was in there somewhere. I didn't notice. Summer and spring look pretty similar. Yeah, even in terms of... We and the leaves are slowly years. fading and dying, slowly dropping off. Okay. So they had a butterfly effect for spring, but I don't see any falling leaf effects from like the trees themselves. That would be nice. I just keep getting like, like don't have it just out in the open like and started, but have it like localized to where there's trees. Just a little, just occasionally you see a leaf or two fluttering down. Uh, but these transitions. But I don't see that, so that's, that's a little sad. Because that would have been a nice touch. You know, what that move for I can't imagine it'd be any more like, demanding but than these the butterflies, you know. Weekly basis, unless they're event driven or have other triggers. We, yeah, right? weekly they basis. Might last longer if 
you don't deal with the okay. dragon or if you do, or if you keep is that a, is that what's flying up there is that a dragon uh, it looks like a dragon it swings like pretty on leathery a cycle on a, on a cyclical perspective as a normal yeah one week feels like it's probably gonna be too short exist within a one week time especially period. considering you have a transitional period for each so you get what like one or two days of hard season uh, and then a couple days of transition right in and out each 30 seconds that feels way too fast uh, yeah, it feels correct. way um, I mean, too fast. In real time, it's you know? going to be almost unnoticeable to the naked eye, you know, like, kind of naturally how it is uh, in real life. Um, we're not going to do it over the course of the year. Of Gotta go cook, have fun, Joe. All right, here we are. Enjoy the food. Oh, is that um, a dragon? Yeah, it is a dragon. Oh, 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 oh. Might want to take it. Which boss is It that? is a dragon. Oh, and we're now we're transitioning snow. back into winter. Yeah, yeah, the snow does slowly yeah. build up on the ground. Show me oh, water! So okay, the, the wind blowing the loose snow. It's a nice touch. Well. So you'll, Good you'll bluster. When the new is We're change. not seeing if water freezes um, over or not. On the weather that's happening, I think there's water over to the side. It looks so like it's it freezing out. over. I think the water actually fully freezes over. I think that's a pond over there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like it's frozen over now. Ah, there's a polar bear. It doesn't seem like either that or it's just covered in snow. There's the bears. The bears. Dobbers. Oh, yes, yes, we've all watched. Yeah, what yeah, was that? Saturday crazy. Night Live. <laughs> the the bears. The, uh, the Back when it was actually good. <laughs> it sells it so good. Yeah, currently playing with weather. It's looking at us, chat. Kind of, like, Staring at us. You think they just uh, said the transition would be a couple of hours or half a day? Oh, okay. That feels a little fast, honestly. So Kieran's change appearance based on the season. Interesting. Features of That's kind of cool. I kind of like creatures and stuff responding to the environment as well. The snow accumulate in the crevices of objects as, you know, so I guess, as so the, as summer, as summer last time we played a video, I was like, ah, oh, I wonder how they're going to place creatures throughout the world. Like, are they just going to be all over the place like a net of monsters just everywhere? So I guess we got our answer here. They definitely just have things spawned around and wandering around like most MMOs. It's not as... it's. <laughs> Nowhere near as severe as some, but it's not quite, it doesn't feel quite as intentional as I was hoping for with the enemy spawn locations and how many enemy there are and whatnot. It does just kind of feel like there's random creatures just wandering around and like you got bears sitting next to Kieran and yeah. Okay. So they're trying to think of a game that's done that, that's done creature spawns particularly well. Honestly, I have to say, probably one of the better ones has been New World, because everything's confined to a location that makes sense for them, for the most part. Um, it, it still tends to feel like it's just wandering creature syndrome, so... Because, I mean, that's basically what it is. So there's still just a bunch of things just randomly wandering around the areas they're restricted to, but they are restricted, and there's te there tends to be less just chaotic clutter in, like, the woods and stuff. You see a wolf here and there. Maybe that wolf is hunting a rabbit, so it feels more like it belongs. It's interacting with other creatures and systems. You know, you occasionally see an elk or a bear, but, you know, they're not all over the place. So that's one of New World's strengths is that their their enemy placement for most areas felt like it made sense. Felt a little more natural. But this isn't bad, but it, it so far it doesn't feel especially natural. But we'll we'll see because there's just like six. Well, I, I think we saw like six Kieran over on that hill. Then you got like two bears over there. It so and melts away the snow. It melts in the crevices last, or if it starts melts in the snow, crevices now. Last, that's a nice of, touch. Accumulates in the you know outer areas first, and the crevices fill in later. Kind of thing. So there's, or, uh, even, or even sad. But at least at least they're not yeah, thick as thieves yeah. out here. Right. It's so soggy. Like, oh, this could be scary. like a number of it's other like games, like World of Warcraft, where, where there's like 50 of them over in that field, or like a uh, one of those free water. Korean games where there's like 150 <laughs> so of them good. over in that yeah, field. Well, I mean, the like, it's, it's like trying to you know, get through a Black Friday crowd in every field you enter. It did. My hat is going crazy. The wind picked up nice. <laughs> but yeah, you know, like, all the elements coming together. I like weather. Like, you know, weather you good. Away one of the things in the I really like storms in games. No wind. Life, Especially if the audio work life. is really good for them. Add some wind and suddenly everything comes to life. Oh, this is beautiful, guys. 
I need to pay more attention to the transition from spring to summer. What's different between spring and summer? Maybe this particular biome, there isn't a significant difference. Maybe just some of the flowers die off. Um, okay, the economy. a particular area no longer is capable for a week's period of time or even potentially longer of producing a certain type of crop or harvestable, and that has to change across the world regionally. Now the transit system of those materials, of those gatherables, they become more relevant and they're subject okay. to potential risk, and the prices might go up in certain areas. It is something that Naturally. is actually very instrumental in the overall design of the economy in the game. Speaking of economy, Especially if the rivers freeze over and it's harder <laughs> yeah, to get I mean, ships from you know, point A to point B. You know, areas get cut off. Transport goods a little faster, right? right? We're playing with it. So some of that is also going to depend on how big the world is as well. Like, they're talking about region A, region B, but if it just takes me 10 minutes to get from here to here on my mount, then none of that matters. Everything's still going to equalize, because who cares? But if it takes, like, I don't know, what, an hour? Hour and a half, something like that, to get across from this area to that area, then then that changes things a bit. Like, it, that's going to really depend on the size of the game world. And I don't know if a game world being that immense is necessarily a good thing, especially if you are relying a bit on theme park elements to where you have to go around to these. I don't know. This is what I'm going to have. It's one that doesn't mean much right now without further detail. And, and how transit systems work. Maybe there's a way for characters to get around the world faster, but goods can't be like Valheim. Valheim has portals, but there's a lot of things you can't take through those portals, so you have to manually transport them. Maybe maybe it's something like that, which would alleviate that issue and still allow you to have a rather large world without it being a massive pain in the ass for the player base. So maybe they have a system like that in place, or they're planning on something like that. But the only way to make what they're talking about work is to have size and inherent inconvenience. Some other games have tried having massive worlds like that, and for the most part, it really didn't work out. Uh, examples. Original Dark and Light. I don't know about the re-release after it was purchased, and I don't, I don't know about that, but uh, the original Dark and Light, or Darkness and Light, whatever the hell it was called. The, when, back when it was an MMO and not a survival game. They had a massive world. Massive. And it didn't work out. People couldn't. Yeah, it was too massive. Even with mounts, it was so fucking massive, it took forever to get across. To the point where things just didn't interact with each other properly. And it was it was just a chaotic mess of goddamn, I don't want to go over there. I think I'll just stop playing instead. But that game was particularly massive, if I remember right. Like it was Hours, multiple hours to go from one sign to the other, even on Mount. It was fucking ridiculously big. I'm trying to think of a game that's big but has scaled back a little more than that. What's what's an example? Um, I had I had a second example in my mind and now I've lost it. Well, if it comes back to me, I'll revisit. But anyway, that's that's my point on that. I guess. The freezing over rivers and things. But okay, yeah, freezing over rivers. So that is a thing. It opens okay. up a lot of can of worms. Like someone could get trapped under the ice. <laughs> but uh, we'll, we'll figure it out if it's possible. I, I I'm going to get trapped under the ice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or, or even also something that's very easily done that we've talked about since 2017. And such a big component of this system coming to life and seeing it at the quality bar that it's at. I mean, like, again, I, I say this. I haven't seen this really in any other game, let alone MMORPG where seasons impact so much of the design. Um, and part of that there also, was again, on the economy, one. Front, you might have a I can't pass. remember what it was called. It's an old one. Closed. And so but the, the seasons in that game were fairly seasons. significant. Um, and that's something that... So it's Rhizom something. I don't remember. Level, but also dynamically based on I don't remember what it was activity. called. I played it for a while, um, but... I mean, that that is a very... I liked it, but it was very janky. And did feel a bit... 
unfinished, yeah, I mean, even by old game standards. Gave Steven some, uh, uh, some, something Rise on or something like that, I think. If I remember right, that game had very distinct seasons as well that had a, an impact. Oh, let there be rain! <laughs> so I think we're still in. Are we still in spring? I love how the distance visibility changes and the night, the kind of overhead cast comes online. Yep. I'm noticing yeah, fewer butterflies and more like. Oh, oh, yeah. oh never mind. There's all the butterflies. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm seeing more like cicadas and things. Oh, can I play? Let me dial up Or locusts or whatever. It I was crazy. like, oh, maybe this is summer. They changed the insects flying around. Oh, I, I still the see the butterflies movement. everywhere. This the wind interaction's crazy. nice. Look at my hair, or my hat is going wild. Yeah, I, I, I do <laughs> I like the, the wind uh, integration. When the rain dies down and the sun hits the grass when it's windy, it looks really cool. Let me do that. I, I, have a, I have some god controls that they gave me for this demonstration. Sweet! So let me turn the rain off. But so far, it, it doesn't feel any different. It still feels itself. like we're basically spring. Are we still spring? Oh, what does like summer things. look like? I still see all the flowers. I still see all the butterflies. So there's a noise function <laughs> that we we've got both materials and in blueprints. So that these bugs are doing great considering how windy it is. Because it's like 300 times faster when it goes in the two plus plus. <laughs> but basically, the same function is duplicated in two places. So we have it in the materials that um, generates the noise in ripple that goes across the player, and in the, the ripples things, feel the, very, the value of the ra they do feel randomized the enough to the audio like system. it doesn't so oh we were in summer okay so summer and spring in this uh, biome are basically of, indiscernible uh, so <laughs> okay of, uh, understood winds, uh, wait player. oh no no that's I'm just going through, i'm going okay, through this transition like, from uh, fall i just down. did a quick transition yeah. for the for the audience to see how much control i have right now <laughs> A lot of control. Yeah, so we you are the, you are the, the god. Yes. The ability to forward and also reverse seasons. If you wanna, you know, get a okay, so we were in oh, yeah. summer, yeah, because they're transitioning right into yeah. fall and into winter. Now, do it yeah, rapidly. Go into spring and then summer. I want to see if I spawn anything different. I love the winter feel. Let me put some check snow. Out. Let me put some snow on. Yeah. Waiting yeah. for it. Let's see some snow. Oh, yeah. Oh, again, look at that. I love the fog. And the effects now start kicking off the ground. Oh yeah, so everything's built into the system. And so this looks like they're heavy snow right here. They can change dynamically. Like yeah, you're not gonna get that gust of wind uh, in certain locations when you know. Okay. It's summer, but. And the snow lightens up a bit. Oh, should, All right. Should watch this, Kieran. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it, do it, do it, do so, it. Abel. The ones actually turn around. Interesting to see yeah, the, the wind the move way. more, yeah, like us and stomps. I mean, it kind of was. So hold on. Hopefully Where are we here? Okay, 20 and something. Sure. So, here, let's go back to their wind demonstration. Where was that? That was, was also, that here? Again, on the economy front. Okay, no, they're still talking about the economy. That was that was after the rain, I think. The distance okay, so... Changes and the night, the kind of... I guess it sounds... Okay, so... so yep. You're gonna sink the boats with all that water. I know. Oh, it's yeah. it's more oh, obvious God. after the storm <laughs> clears. No, no, Let's no. go to that quick. Okay. So, so keep an eye on the grass here, the here off. in particular. And so it's swaying, gentle breeze. So look look at the see the color shifting. Oh, That's showing like gusts versus sustained wind. When you see it shimmer, that's a gust so passing a through. Function <laughs> that we. We've got both materials and as you notice, it does so stop. Later, like the, it, it pulls plus, back, like and then there's just that gentle sway, and then the wind plus, kicks back in. So they do basically that. Basically, the same function is duplicated in two places. So we have it in the materials that um, generates the noise. In the yeah. Ripple, see, there was a gust layer. blasting through. You can and see it rolling through. And then the there, and then it stops briefly, the value and then it kicks back in. At the play location, so that seems to be something the system so takes into so account, depending on if the weather would allow uh, for breaks in the, of, in the gusting or uh, whatnot. So, uh, so they do seem to have uh, that baked into the, the into the into the game into I'm the system. Through, I'm going through. And the there you see, and then it uh, stopped gusting. Now it's gusting again. You see it waving through. You can actually see the wind traveling over the floor. So they have kind of taken that into account. It looks like. All right, we were at, uh, what were we at? Like 22, 20 I something. The shot. I need you guys to step over here. Oh, wait, here. hold on. Okay, hey, they're going to do that to the left, transition on the... We need a feeding okay. system where you can just like walk up and like hold out your hands. Okay, let's see. Husbandry where I can make my... Husbandry? Oh, there we go. Hey, listen, it just took him a second. Okay. Yes. All right. Let's 
going Jensi on? Jensi did a great job on those things. Probably Probably shot yeah, these are go. fantastic models. Watch the Kieran change. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they do change. Oh, yeah. Look at them. They change oh, yeah. with the seasons. That was fun for me to figure out. Oh, yeah. Oh, that looks, looks good. so good, James. What do they look like Does in he, fall? Like, did they not change know, significantly in, in fall? Did they get more reddish? Shown, Go to fall, you cowards. Shown, Go to fall. Shown, like where we, you know, talked about seasons in our Kickstarter. Um, yes. Those were just dissolves between environments that we did in post-production. And I'm sure people think we're doing the same thing in our new cinematic, but... You know, this no, must be exactly summer because they're they're, they're kind of trickery, no more of a muted group. Okay, so we're in summer now. We're transitioning to fall, I think. Oh, this is fall. Okay. Major leagues now. Yeah, that's nice. And it looks like a gradual transition on them too during the transition period. So the, um, it's a nice touch. The weather effects, and I know that the effects team isn't here right now, but we might be getting some insight to their their work next month, maybe on stream. We'll see. Um, but you also have the, the effects interacting with the environment. Like I was seeing some streams of uh, rain that was coming down that Adrian did some work on, um, on some of the portcullises. Mm. Yeah, there's a individual okay. particle effects that can be placed on some of these assets that kind of responds to changes in weather that it look like, you know, rain collecting in areas. Or, so uh, water collecting or raining, running down walls. Like a tunnel or okay. You can see it dripping Interesting. Uh, they mentioned we'll have a tool to this point they mentioned that, crevices but, as well or like snow would case, build up more in crevices and place. take longer that would be like the last yeah, places it melted it cool. so makes sense Same thing, but it a little more insulated the butterflies the bees the leaves you could put playing with this wind a little bit i love the tree movement too you know it's it's so funny in a lot of the games that i played the wind effects can either look really really good Mm -hmm. Or they can look really, really bad. Uh -huh. <laughs> and usually not much in between. <coughs> but I three. like how our trees, <coughs> you have this variance in movement. Witcher 3 was nice because the wind, would, like a severe winds would actually kind of bend the trees a bit. So more, the full tree kind of responded a bit. We but it was, it also looked kind of scuffed at the same time. The it was a neat idea, but it wasn't quite yeah. there. We had a little bit of... That's some nice balance. It was more meaning like some, how to say it, like outliers. Mm. Uh, it might be something it's in. It's hard to say. They're they're doing a pretty fast demonstration where everything's kind of sped up. So, but um, a lot of information about the tree is encoded to. It looks like the wind, depending on the weather, does shift in intensity. So it's not always so. Sometimes you'll have a stronger wind, and then over the next couple of minutes, it'll die down a bit. Then maybe it'll pick up to like a medium. So they have things like that. So the wind direct uh, speed does shift. A bunch of rotations. I don't know about wind direction, but considering they want wind to interact with sailing and ships, I suspect there is a directional element to the wind as well, but I can't, I don't know for sure. They haven't mentioned that yet. I love that. And then there another thing we are talking about was having, like, wetness effects and <clears throat> snow pile up on well, make me moist rocks then. and buildings and stuff. That's one thing we're doing for wetness of the terrain. If you look right. at the dirt path as it gets wetter, and I'm not sure how visible this is because it also gets cloudy and dark and maybe they get the stream compression, but as it gets wet, we okay. use the height element of the terrain materials to figure out where puddles should form. Okay. And uh, no, stop should, moving. It makes it look see, bad on stream. Stop moving. Slope, so ah, it damn it. might look more visible on oh, okay. flat Okay, here we go. Okay, you can see the the water building up. You can tell it's wet. Okay, would you look at the ground, you fool? Okay, I I don't see any puddles forming yet. There's definitely low spots where puddles should form. It evaporates. Oh, maybe there is a puddle forming there. I can't tell. Or it looks more wet at that lower elevation than it does at the higher. I guess. So I I, I think I see what they mean. The high immediate occlusion places last. Yeah, you you can see more shine and more of that wet. Kind of mesh, uh, not mesh, but uh, uh, yeah. effect. So uh, I was going to say we also had our other artists. So animal horns should get velvet sets. and then get rough Various and shaggy and then bare for the seasons. That would be nice, but uh, these ones don't seem to want to. They just want to change the magical effect, the, make them colorful or not colorful. The, event where everyone left the uh, Exodus, the Apocalypse, the, Exodus. the these are end serpentine of the world. horses, I yep. guess. Uh, are yeah, Kieran lizards? 
Are they reptiles? Is, what the fuck oh, is a key ring anyway? This is an anyway? of like obstructions. Ah. Yeah, oh. So, uh, design, okay. You might not be able to access certain areas. And Wait, but there's something oh. there. Open. That is that Open ice that built me. up. I command you. <laughs> you can't get in because ice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. and then the yes. ice melts. Yes. That's a nice effect. So Ooh. Oh, so okay. Right in there. It is very bright in there. What is going on? It looks like fog. I don't even know if I want to Lights just bouncing off the fog. It's volumetric yeah, lighting. Change the weather here. We might need oh. to Reveal yourself, Snow. I command you to stop. <laughs> Looks like volumetric lighting flipping so shit in here. What is that? Oh, oh, no. oh my god. Oh, that? it's a sandal. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> yes. That is so awesome. Okay. Who can put that in there? Uh, yeah, that was done by our amazing uh, artist Hal. She uh, oh Hal, crank that out real quick for you with a little, nice little inscription. Very nice. Yeah, that is so cool. Oh, that's that is Stephen's sandal. I found I'm pretty sure we're gonna auction off like your sandals. At some I found I found my sandal. <laughs> but wait, to be fair, it's missing. One. Oh, is it? Is there another one? There's there's two. The sandals come in pairs. So wait a minute. I if assume there's some uh, mantling. Okay. Where is this? Really. All right. So, do we have anything else Where to discuss on the weather system? system? I, is this like a little, uh, a little yeah. uh, jump puzzle? A little jump, little jump, jump puzzle. Jump, little jump puzzle. Okay. You know what? I like jump puzzles. Let me it's up. one of my favorite parts of Guild Wars too. Let me up, sir. It's okay. just a bit of parkour. So, you know. oh, there we go. Okay. So they have a climbing yeah, system in, like New right? World does. Okay. Oh, no, I think it's Interesting. Smart. I think it's a good. It's nice. Or uh, I think BDO oh also oh, has just barely. the climbing system as well. Skin of my teeth. Let me up here. Oh, there's stairs. It's dark. I can't see. Very dark. Very dark. Okay. I think it's nice being able to interact with the, with the environment, environment like that. I'm glad games I do that. I think I have found it. <gasps> okay. oh. Alright, so not much of a puzzle sandal. on this one, but they did Collect find the, the sandal. Yes. So. Oh, <laughs> That's I good. love it. That is so cool. That is awesome. Well, I have to say, back when we talked about seasonal changes and weather systems and all of these things being interconnected with with design elements and systems. Okay, if you fall from a high enough point, you do a you do a nice I little tuck and roll remember there. Remember that we showed off the kind Excellent. of you know, cool. very early prototyping that we were doing back in like 2017, and we probably actually just showed that on the stream, lol. Um, but lol. <laughs> <laughs> um, L O L. I, I never thought that it would come to this level of quality. Yeah, in fact, when I first kind of faked this kind of. Most of the weather system in the season system looks phenomenal. Happened, I think, uh, I was a little, like a little intimidated myself. Right. Chef's kiss, yeah, the beautiful. That we, that we did, very that robust, was, very good there looking. Were significant challenges of, yeah. of making that possible, but this. Well, it'll be time. interesting to see where everything kind of settles down and finalizes yeah, big shout for shout out it. to uh, James and Hal and Brian for cranking out all the biome stuff. And then Brandon and Adam. That big head is still staring at us. Amazing ruins. Uh, and Scott for the new trees, too. Scott, yeah. New trees! Scott on our new foliage. What the Go fuck? guy is the one that cranked out some of these pretty epic uh, the ash trees. What the fuck? Yes, those big also. ash trees. Don't Very mind my well. god powers. I have god powers. This is not powers you will have, players. This is just what I can do. <laughs> oh. Also not to, he turned uh, himself into a Beyblade. Uh, Hans, our new landscape master, he uh, took a swing at this landscape for us and did us some of the epic views. So, All around uh, an amazing job by everybody. All right. Yeah, yeah we, were, we were all kind yeah, of intimidated good. when we were having the initial meetings to start. Slightly better in this area. They'll have a screenshot or video to show us. Okay, you know, so they're just uh, they're just wrapping up now. All right. Well, that was that was it. This one was recommended by a number of people, and for good reason. It's a very interesting video. Looks like the, the weather system has come very far. I like it. I feel like there's some more details to flesh out and figure out, but uh, you know, there's time for that. We'll see where they where everything settles. Now, I like it. It's good. Shaping up nicely.